Oh, awesome. Cool. So I'm here with Kaylin. Um, she's a great business owner from New Zealand, does a great product with um, bath bombs and sprudels and all these sorts of things. It's a really amazing product. But I mean, rather than me telling everyone about it, Kaylin, I'd love to just hear from you about what, what your business does. And if you could just share a little bit, that would be awesome. Sure. So I, um, I import kids bath bombs and bath products from South Africa. So they are an awesome product because they um, are one of the very few products that are made specifically for children. So they're soft and gentle. They are color bath bombs. They fizz, color the water. And then when they all fizzed out, a little sponge toy pops out and floats to the surface. So it's exciting, um, but also they don't stain. So a lot of other products on the market, in fact, most other um, bath products on the market are made for adults. So Kids always love using them, but they're actually not ideal for their skin. So it's just an awesome, um, really fun product that I have been involved with the company since I was a teenager. So I know them really well and um, there isn't anything else out, to, out there like it, which is great. Yeah, it's an awesome story. I love that, that especially it's got such an affiliation to yourself because that's often what we find with um, businesses that do start to do well, or people that stay with their businesses is that they have a very strong connection with, which is awesome. That was the same with us and Karmic and whatnot. But um, I mean, I, I, I've loved working with you over the last kind of three, four months. And it's awesome that you've hit some, you know, one particular milestone, you know, last month. But I, I understand it was, you know, challenging when we're in businesses on our on our own and, um, and to do certain things. But yeah, I mean, if you could just sort of fill us in with um, what the last sort of year to two years kind of looked like, I guess, before, you know, us working together. Well, I've had my I've had my business for um, oh, probably six seven years now. Um, the first couple of years, very much I had three young children, um, two of which were at home with me. Very challenging, um, just with hours um, being able to actually put the work in. So it really sort of started off just more of a hobby. Um, but now my kids are at school, and um, it's very much a situation that I really need my business to work. Um, I have not got any business experience. I'm from a sales background, um, from a travel background, actually. Um, it's super important for me to be able to stay at home with my kids um, and to be around. So it's challenging because um, I don't have a business degree. I don't have um, the financial side of it. So for the last however many years, and especially the last sort of two, three years where I really have been putting focus and energy, I haven't really, um, I've worked really hard and I'm just trying to get um, trying to get orders. I'm packing, I'm doing markets, I'm trying to grow, but I've actually got no idea where I'm kind of throwing my energy into. So um, I have not... You know, I use Shopify, but I have not actually known how to look at my stats, my analytics. I had no idea what, how many hits, how many you should expect, what is a good amount of orders. And in fact, to be completely honest, if you have to ask me what I made up until now that I've had a bit of guidance, <laughs> I could not tell you what my best selling product was, what my... Um, yeah, how much I turned over in a week, in a month. Um, and I also didn't have any goals. So now I think for the first first time, it was because it was broken down um, into, we had our first meeting and you looked at, right, how much do you want to turn over in a month? So this is how many orders you've got to actually do a day. This is um, how much money you've got to do a day. And so it became... For the, I would say last month, it was the first time I actually saw a clear picture. Um, so I set a, a target, which I felt it was up sort of higher than what I had ever done before, but I knew it was realistic. Um, it got towards the end of the month when I felt that it was impossible. I wasn't going to reach it. <laughs> But then I was determined. I'd set that goal for myself and I didn't want to fail. So um, we had the opportunity. It was Halloween. And I put a package together and sent out a, um, a newsletter and just did a lot of marketing. And in those last three, four days, um, it came together. And I did. I hit that target and went over it, which was, it felt so good. But it's the first time that I've actually, day to day, week by week, actually properly understood 
what I've been doing. And I think it's really, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, Will. No, that I mean, that's just awesome. I was I was absolutely so excited for you to hit that. And like just just honestly, your sheer determination with it was was a solution for any issues or challenges that you were coming up with. And I think that that's such a key attribute to um to entrepreneurs and business owners generally is being able to find solutions because we we always say even in our business that the like problems and challenges don't go away. They just become bigger and you deal with them better and faster. And yeah. you know, we obviously work together to um to simplify some things and and you know find out what was kind of working and driving that needle. And and you very intelligently started to press on those buttons and to pull those levers and things started to happen and compound over time. Um, and yeah, it was super exciting. Um, so <laughs> yeah. So, so, I mean, what, what's it, what are you, how, how's it been working together? Have you, have you enjoyed working together? What's it been like for you? What's been the most beneficial kind of thing? Most beneficial part has been, I felt completely supported and I've got to say, um, working from home on my own, not having a business part partner, never having anyone to bounce ideas with, never any guidance. I can only draw from what I know. Um, and that it's, it's not enough. Um, it's limited. And I was at a point when my socials had been sitting with the same followers for, I hadn't grown for the last two years. Um, and there's a limit to what you can do on your own. So for me, it's, it's been having the encouragement has been unbelievable, actually, just the little texts, the little fist pumps. And <laughs> <laughs> it does actually Absolutely. make it feel, um, it keeps me going because a lot of it has been very daunting. Like a lot of it, I felt like sick. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Yeah. But I it. <laughs> because I've made an investment, I've, and also I feel accountable. I feel like I, I, um, I need to answer to you. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> well, I'm not really scared of you. But I do feel as though it's, you know, it has been good. And sometimes we've gone on calls and we've gone in to have, to talk about something specific um, or kind of look at the advertising. I mean, we've been talking about the advertising, but actually we've come on a few times and there's been some other sort of crisis situations that we've looked at and our entire conversation has turned in the opposite direction. But without having those, those conversations, um, I would still be stuck. I still wouldn't have actually got to that that beyond that point. So even um, and again, not having another partner to look at look at things like I've assumed things are working, but when you put fresh eyes on my email marketing, for example, we realized it wasn't going anywhere, wasn't reaching anybody. So um, and then you've also given me sort of the guts to make decisions to just cull and move on, you know, mm. not to sit and actually ponder and put the energy into making things work that are not working. So the support um, has been, I, I can't even explain like the value. So it has, I've, I haven't felt alone um, and I've learned a lot. I've learned a huge amount and definitely on that actual business side, um, you know, I'm fine. I can go and sell, I can sell to anyone, but um, <laughs> it's not gonna, <laughs> that's not gonna help me grow um, in the long term. And I need to understand what I'm doing and that's what I find daunting is not actually understanding, understanding the analytics, understanding the background. Um, and I'm definitely getting a better feel for that. Totally. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, yeah you hit the nail on the head and that we, we felt like that for a long time as well, that, you know, you're so you're thrown into this world by, by choice, but it's so easy to feel alone, even though there's online platforms and, you know, friends, they're on the same page you can, you can converse with, but a lot of people don't have a lot of entrepreneurial friends and, and things um and so yeah that was obviously the environment we set out to create was just to have that support because that was something that we we had missed I mean even just to have someone to say you're doing the right thing or do more of this and that's again you know our experience with mentors as well is is ensuring you're on the right track uh, yeah. and getting through that valley of disappointment which we've spoken about a number <laughs> of times <laughs> is, is actually that is, was probably one of the best things was that first meeting mm. um I knew I'd made the right decision was the visuals. So actually understanding um, from a financial side, breaking down into smaller chunks, it suddenly wasn't that overwhelming, but also mm. um, your value of disappointment, looking at that graph, <laughs> that is what kept me going. Cause I kept on thinking, okay, 
fine, you're putting in the work, you're putting in the work, you're putting in the work, and there will be a day when we start to see the, the up. And so that's it. I know that if I hadn't had invested the money with you, I 100% would have, I would have given up um, like with the influencer marketing, for example, for example, I would not have carried on relentlessly. Um, yeah. It was hard. It was, but it's also actually, it wasn't as hard as what I thought it was going to be when I started off. You feel uncomfortable, but actually people are really nice and we're very responsive, uh, um, yeah. responsive to it. So it's good. Yeah. That's such a pleasant surprise. We, I mean, we found that time and time again, you get yourself so worked up about something and then you're so pleasantly surprised about the experience that you have and just that yeah. confidence you get from that growth, right? Is, is and also so... relationships. They're just nice people. So I've landed up actually building really awesome relationships with a lot of these guys. It's not just superficial. It's people that I would continue to work with um, time and time again, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You've done an amazing job. Absolutely. And so what's, um, what's, what's next? What's the next milestone, do you think, for us working together? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, <laughs> I meant, I meant, I meant. Uh, what's our, what's our next revenue target? We're gonna, because we're gonna get there <laughs> together. We're gonna get there. Um, we're gonna go. I'm gonna do the next. I'm not gonna go over. I know our ultimate goal is ten. Um, I'm gonna say eight. I want to do seven this month. Will be the best I've ever done. Yeah. Um, eight will be a treat. Awesome. We'll get the so minimum of seven. <laughs> we're gonna up it we're gonna up it by two grand this month um and i think we can do it i love it absolutely me too yeah. and so <laughs> one one just final question is around i guess some i know you, you touched on some key takeaways which is awesome but i mean for anyone that was sort of on the fence or looking at getting some help i guess like what, what do you kind of say to people going through you know a mentoring program yourself and um i guess what to expect so i have had um, a bit of coaching and just help with um, sort of on the marketing side before. Um, what I would say is different with you guys and um, I would do all over again. And in fact, I probably would have to think really hard about going back to sort of the traditional way is having, knowing that I've got six months, that if we're in a crisis that I can talk to you, like if we need to talk twice in a week or once in a week, or a quick WhatsApp call, I know I've got that support. Whereas in the past, um, I have had somebody that has billed me like hourly. Mm. And that hourly billing, the hi, how are you? How was your weekend? Goes into that. Mm. Um, and by the end of it, I spent a hell of a lot of money and I actually got nowhere. Um, mm. So I found that to be more stressful is watching, um, watching the clock tick, watching the money drop, um, knowing that there was absolutely limited time and knowing that by the end of my budget, I had actually not achieved what I needed to achieve. And I really was no better off than, um, in fact, I was worse off because I was actually more stressed. Mm, mm. Um, so that is what has been really good is knowing that um, we've, we've got six months, but also knowing even now that we've still got time and I can think ahead. And as I'm learning, I know that within that time, um, I would have, I'm basically looking at this as like a, um, like going and doing a, a bit more of a business study. So it's not just um, there to make my business get more money. Like it is for me as a business owner to actually um, have a way better understanding and to walk away with the knowledge. And that is, um, you can't put a price on that. And that is, that's been really good. So I don't feel that stress of like, okay, oh, we've run out of money now and this is where we at, but I still actually am only 50% of my way there. Mm. So I know that I've got that support for an amount of time and I know that we can we can fit in those hours and we can make it happen. Yeah. So that is the difference and that is huge. Awesome. That is no, what I would that, highly that's, um, that, that's perfect because, yeah, I mean, we've been part of programs too where it's you can't help but kind of watch the clock when it's kind of hourly. And I mean – um yeah everybody's busy and got time commitments and things like that but you just it's, it's just so important to know that people I guess have your back right and that was kind of yeah. I think we, we we said in the beginning it's like we would basically just come in as a a partner with you to yeah. to go through it and that's um you know glad glad to hear it's obviously super valuable for you and it's no surprise that you're getting the results with the attitude that you've taken to 
to what um to what we've been building together because you know we said all along like it's a 50 50 relationship where we bring the expo the experience the knowledge and the theories but you have to bring the questions and take the consistent action right yeah. and for us to keep moving forward and, and you've done exactly that so yeah it's no surprise that you've got some great wins and it's going to be no surprise when you get some more wins so it's been awesome um having you on board so Thanks so Thanks. much for sharing that. I really appreciate that. And I hope it does help I, some people as well. I do just want to say actually one last thing. So just talking about the yeah. time, it's not the fact that we've got limitless time. It is also that every single session is focused. And I think that's also been a brand new experience for me. It hasn't been wishy-washy. Um, mm. It's been, I know when I come on to a call, I know that by the end of the call, we have achieved something and I walk away and I know exactly what to do. And I think that for me, um, has been probably the biggest thing is um because that, that I sit down before I met you and I sit down and I actually don't know what to do so I waste loads of time and then I might spend hours doing something else but I'm definitely more focused I'm working to deadlines and that for me is what I need to do I need to, I need a very very clear direction and because I'm on my own it's very easy to get distracted and to steer away from that. Um, so that I would say is also the most valuable. So it's not just, it's not actually limitless time. It's that every single session is completely, completely valuable. Yeah. 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 That, thanks for throwing that in because that's, that's definitely something that's, that's really required to, to keep moving forward is that you have, yeah, as you say, it's not wishy-washy. We get specific on something that you need yeah. help with to have that, you know, job for the next, that task for the next kind of week or five days or whatever it is, and then be able to review that and have that deadline. And I think we all just need that in, in our, yeah. our lives, but particularly in our business, because it's, you know, something that we said right from the beginning is it's something is things are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do. Um, oh, and no awesome. one's going to tell you as a business owner that, oh, you didn't do your post today. You didn't do your marketing. You didn't do this. <laughs> you know, it's only you, right? <laughs> and so... That's easy to do, but easy not to do. So thanks for throwing that in. But um, yeah, it's been awesome having you on board, of course, Kaylin. And um, as I say, more big results to come. So thanks for sharing that. Hopefully that helps people with that. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Awesome. Easy. Okay.